Hello everyone, I'm back again. My name is Reverend Penelope Stewart. I run an online spirit, uh, metaphysical store called Chemistry. I will leave a link for you. I also do readings, tarot readings. Uh, I, I do them online and I also do them in person. And I'll leave a link here, and you can also you can find me on you can find us on Facebook, you can find us on Instagram, and you can find us on Twitter. So if you're interested in the reading, you can hit me up at all those uh, sites. I think I'm on Google Plus too. Not sure, but I think I am. Okay, I wanted to talk about this good book I got because I wanted to learn more about the Orisha. Uh, you know, I work with Voodoo deities. I have been working with Voodoo deities for a long time, for a little while now. And uh, for some reason, I was uh, interested in the Orisha. The ancestors led me to the Orisha. And my experience uh, working with them, because they are uh, parts of us, and you can see them out in nature too. They are forces out into nature. You know, they're, they're, they're energies in the nature. Okay, they're nature spirits. They, they help create us as well, these energies. Uh, where the angels seem to come from. I'm going to tell you, uh, one of the Orishas, Oya Storm, uh, that plays in the movie, what is that, X-Men? That, that uh, superhero Storm, she is uh, actually, she was... Uh, she, that character was inspired by the Orisha Oya, if you didn't know that, okay? So, yeah, uh, and if you didn't know that, Beyonce did a personification of uh, uh, of Oshun uh, during one of her uh, performances. And I think her sister uh, did some performance. I think she did a personification of Yamaya, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, all this is coming to the front now. So, I'm seeing a lot of these uh, movie stars, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, subliminally, they're, 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 they are educating you if you're picking it up. But I, I can see it right off because I'm conscious and I w I'm aware and I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to get you to think. So, uh, this book right here, uh, The Hand Book of Yoruba Religious Concepts. Okay, I got this book, and I thought it was going to be, you know, I thought it was going to be like, like most religious books or whatever, but I tell you, I was not disappointed in this book. Uh, it, it, it is practical. It, te it talks about meditation, you know, it talks about your chakras, how the Orishas are connected to your chakras. It talks about that and how to connect with your chakras and how how to recognize uh, uh, these energies, how to uh, recognize the Orisha in your life. Uh, you know, when you see Yamaya, you're looking at Yamaya when you look at a pregnant woman. You know what I'm saying? Every time you see a woman give birth, you're looking at Oshun. Oshun. So uh, they're teaching you how to uh, tap in to those energies through meditation, you know. Uh, and this, and, and, and I tell you, uh, Kemet is a lot like this too. When you get into Kemet and meditation, I, I see this uh, being implemented. This is you people. You know, they, they give you a diagrams. This is good for newbies too. If you're trying to understand the religious concepts of your ancestors, this is a good book. Okay? It's going to give you a spiritual foundation, a solid f spiritual uh, foundation. And that's what most of us uh, need. Uh, he talks, they talk about, uh, uh, in, 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 uh, African spirituality, they talk about your ori. And your ori is their, I call it your soul mind. That's what, how I look at it. It's your soul mind. I'm going to speak in, in terms that we understand since we're over here and, and we wasn't raised and educated fully by our ancestors. So I'm going to speak in you in those terms. So the ori is your soul mind. And then they talk about the six trap, uh, six chakra being the or Namilia. And then they talk about the fifth ch uh, chakra being Ab Ab Abatala. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Then they talk about the fourth chakra, which is the heart chakra, is Ogun. Then they talk about the navel uh, uh, region chakra. 
and that's Oshun. Then they talk about uh, the second chakra, and that's uh, Yamaya, and that, that's the reproductive, pre reproductive uh, region. And then they talk about Shango, okay? And that's that's the uh, the growing part. So, and they listed, they got diagrams in here that show you how to connect with your, you know, these uh, energies within you. This is within our DNA. These are where our ancestors come from as well, okay? Uh, and, and, and again, I can't stress this enough. Uh, I know a lot of you said, why is this so important? It's so important because many of these deities, I can't emphasize that enough because we don't know, you know, I, I, I'm, if I'm sure if we, were, we were raised up in that culture, we would know more about these deities. But I'm a firm believer in the research that I have seen. Most of these ancestral spirits or these deities were once people elevated to God's status. And you see that in uh, Kemet too with these pharaohs and stuff. You see that too. Okay, so don't, you know, these people are real people. Okay, some of these are real people. And when you contact these energies or whatever, you access uh, 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 you access power in your life. I'm going to give you a prime example. Uh, when I first start, uh, when I first start thinking, this is how I knew I had to work with the Orishas, that the ancestors would lead me to work to the Orishas. Uh, when I first was thinking about it and I had just started reading about it just online or whatever and, and uh, just thinking about it or whatever, I, 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 you know, I didn't get too much to it. I was like, maybe I shouldn't. I wasn't really sure. If they, I said, if, if, if I'm for the honor these deities, I guess the ancestors would give me a sign. Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, first, I started getting um, these Ifa priests that just started praying for me. They, they were just... Uh, be on Facebook and they just start, they friend me and start sending me prayers. They'll watch my videos and just start sending me prayers. And I'll be like, why are you, uh, why are you sending me, uh, prayer messages in my inbox? And, uh, they was like, I don't know. The ancestors just told me to pray for you and that's what I'm doing. And I was just like, you know, I didn't feel, it didn't make me feel uneasy or anything when they said the ancestors told them to do it. I was like, okay. You know, I didn't, I didn't, you know, but I saw a difference in the energy. I could saw, a, a, I don't know, I saw a change in my life. You know, I don't, I know how I'm not explaining it. I seen a different shift of energy come in my life. It, it was lifted. You know, I can feel elevated. You know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, it was like two or three of them that did me like that. I was like, okay. Then a little while after that, I met a young lady who was into Ifa, And, uh, she came into my life and, uh, I started talking with her a little bit, and I already knew how to do. Uh, another sister said I already taught me how to do a river ritual on the rit. I mean, on the river. I have to post that on here as well. I've never posted anything like that on on there, but I have to show you how to go down to the river because the river is a representation of our ancestors' bloodline. Okay, that's what that, that is. When you go out there and put uh, fruits, flowers, and stuff on the river. You're on the ancestor and your ancestral line on lines, and you also can honor the uh, the African deities as well. But anywho, uh, I met this young lady, and so I was like, okay, and it really got on me heavy then. And I had read these books. I started reading. The, uh, I'm a, it's, I got another book. I got to do a book review on, but I'll go to that in a minute. But. Um, I was like, okay. So uh, one day it was raining real hard at home. It had been on me uh, urge, just like you need to go to a, a go to the river and do a. Uh, you need to go to the river and do a uh, ritual to the Orisha. And it was. I was like, well, it's raining outside. It's been raining for three days straight. I like. I can't give a ritual in the rain like this. And I. I. It, it, it was just on me. I. I don't know how to explain it. When the ancestors, you know, how you have an urge to do something, you just do it. You know, it just be on you to do it. That's that's how that's how you know the the, uh, the ancestors or the spirit is, is trying to get you to do something. It's warning you or you got a blessing. If you do it right then, you know what I'm saying, you got a blessing. They finna bless you with something. So when they urge you like this on you, you have to do it. You know what I'm saying? You have to do it. I can't explain it. It's just an urge. Just like an urge to scratch out your head. It's like that. 
You just have to do it. You just have an antsy. You get your antsy until you do it. And it, it, it just keep crossing your mind, keep crossing your mind until you do it. And then you feel better. I hope that makes sense. But uh, I got in my car. I was like, okay. I was like, if, if it's for me to do this ritual, it'll stop raining when I get out here. I'm, I'm going to go out here. Because the ancestors just kept urging me. I was like, I'm going to go out here and do it. And if, if, if it's for me to do it, it's going to have to stop raining. I, I'm going to do it. So I packed up my little green bag. I got a green bag that I put all my uh, my ritual stuff in when I go out to the park and do my rituals and stuff to the ancestors. And so uh, I went out there and I start, I, I, I rode up there and wouldn't you know it. I mean, it's been raining hard all day, y'all. It's been raining hard all day. Hard. You hear me? So I get out the car and I go up and I, 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 no, I roll up to the park and it's a man. He rolls up at the park too. He got a hat on. He got some red pants on and it's a red, uh, uh let me mad you not. These are red like slacks pants. They like burgundy looking, uh, look like the church pants. That's what they look like. And he got a fishing pole in his hand and he bone dry. And it's been raining all day. He comes out here with the fishing pole. And I kind of look, he look, I'm going to tell you who he looked like. He looked like Elegba. He looked like Elegba would look. You know, and I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, oh my God. I was like, because that's who he looked like. And then he was bald. It just didn't make no sense for him to be out there with one of them church hats on and some uh, a dress pants on. And if it, he was bone dry. And it's been raining hard all day. Who comes out there and fish like that? You know, just... It didn't make sense. I was like, that don't make sense. So, but I didn't say anything. He didn't say, we made eye contact. But he didn't say anything to me, and I didn't say anything to him. So, I was like, I'm still going to do my ritual. And he was like on the side of me, you know, down there closer to the river with his pole. So, he was close to me. He could hear me if I start, you know, reciting my prayers and my rituals. But I was like, I'm not going to, I'm going to ignore him and keep doing this because I don't know, you know, I, I, I got to do this. So, uh, I set my little incense up, you know, my candles and stuff up, and I began to say the Orisha prayer, you know, wouldn't you know, I am not playing with you. It completely stopped raining. The sun came out over my head, and I was like, oh my God, it stopped raining. It stopped raining. And I felt like I was in, the, it felt like I was enclosed in this sanctuary. I don't know how to explain it. Even though I was outside, I felt like I was in this room, this big room of nature, like a hologram. That's the only way I can explain it. And it seemed like every time I pray, I pray, I can feel it echoing like I was in a church. I can feel it echoing. And I can see the fish jumping out the water. And these white birds come flying across the sky. I was just like, oh my God, you know. But I just kept on saying my prayers. And I got this. And what I do, I have a box. I always get something biodegradable. And I put like fruits, flowers, and stuff in there to the Orisha. I might put some stuff in there for Oshun. Some stuff in there for Oya. Some stuff in there for Elegba. You know, I just, it, I, I feel it full of the, some of their favorite stuff. And flowers. And then I, I'll say a prayer and I might put a candle and the incense in it and put it on the river and it'll float off. That's that's the ritual. That's the customary ritual uh, in African spirituality. And so uh, <laughs> I put it on the river. I went on ahead and put it out on the river. And I was still walking to the car in amazement because I was just like, this just didn't happen. I know this. I was just in ama amazement. And I was like, I know this can't be Elegba over here. You know, so I got in my car. And uh, when I got in my car to leave, so did the man. When the, I left, the man left. Okay? When I left, the man left. And I was still driving home. And I was like, God, this just didn't happen. I was like, there, surely there wasn't Elegba in, in the flesh. But and when I get went to go talk, I talked to my friend about it. And she started smiling. Because she had the same episode when she, uh, who did she come in? I think she came in contact with, uh... Was it Elegba? Ishu? She came in contact with one of them. Or Shango. It was one of them. She came in contact with one of them when she was meditating outside one day too. So, uh, and her priestess told her that, you know, they do manifest, you know. So when I was telling her about it, she started smiling. And she was like, that was Elegba. 
And when I talked to the lady uh, who practiced Aoife, I think she's some type of, she has some type of uh, title within the Aoife uh, tradition or religion. When I talked to her about it, she started smiling about it. And she said, that was Elegba. E he was making sure you was doing your ritual and making sure you was protected. And making sure you was honoring the ancestors the right way. And I was just like, you know, but I felt like that when I got up there. It was just too, I can't explain it. So, uh, yeah, we, you really, you know, it makes all the difference. And I've, I've, I've seen a difference in my life. Now, I don't know uh, uh, who is the, my head, because they get into that too in the Orisha. Uh, have you ever are initiated and start practicing that you have to know who your head is and who, who's ruling your head uh you know but yeah i just had to talk about that so that's very important that we honor our ancestors uh and she also gives you herbs too that's associated with the uh, orisha herbs that you can use for baths and oils that you can make uh to the orisha so there's a lot not she who wrote this book Baba Ifa Karate. That's who wrote this book. The hand, the handbook of the Yoruba religious concepts. And it's a very popular book. It has some very good reviews all the way across the board. It is easy to read. It is practical. And if for you newbies, it's a how-to connect book. There is no reason. Once you start getting, once you read this book, you'll see there is no reason for new age. You don't need anything new age. All this stuff... Uh, that you got this new age, you can throw it in the trash. It's trash because it's based off this. It's just being repackaged for something else. But this is a really good book. You need to get, get this book because the new age is, is totally based off this. Uh, I enjoyed this book. It's, it's, it's an easy to go uh, to book. Uh, you know, he, sh he showed you how to do spiritual baths. He got the herbs and stuff here. He lists lists them, lists them for you. Uh, I, I, I thought this book was invaluable. It was straight to the point. It was easy to read. He gets you familiar with all the Orisha. Uh, he talks about the Orisha as angelic forces. See, the angels come from, you know, our ancestors. I'm telling you. You know, he talks about that. Uh, let me, uh, let me, uh, before I end this video, let me tell you the, uh, the chapters of the book. So you'll be familiar with it. It talks about the Yoruba history. That's the first chapter. Chapter The second, he talks about the Omnimilia and the Ifa Corpus. So, uh, he talks about the religion, I think, and, and, and more of the, um, uh, the doctrine that they have, the, uh, contract that they have with Ifa, these traditions, because that's, that's what uh, uh, it is. That's the commitment that we have with these deities, okay? Because uh, we uh, uh, we are planetarian guardians, and we have this. Uh, we have a responsibility and a commitment with these nature spirits, okay? Uh, number three, uh, the Orisha as the angelic forces. Number four, divination, sacrifice, and initiations. Like I said, be careful about initiation. Make sure. Number one, that they are, uh, 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 that it's authentic and the person got good character. Okay? Number two, that you're getting what you need out of it and it's going to help you with your spiritual growth. Number three, have your money right because it can be expensive. Okay? So remember those three things when you, if you're ever looking for initiations. Uh, the religious, the religious phrases of Yoruba, Yoruba vocabulary. So, and this book is not even long. It's not even long, but it, it, it will get you right where you need to be. It, it can jumpstart your uh, spiritual practice in a, in, a, in a minute. You know, I, when I read this book, I was like, oh, man, it went straight to what I wanted. It went straight, you know, he, he and, you know, come to me, come to me uh, 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 all the way. Come hard with your, with your information because I, I, he went directly to the point, and I like that about this book. And you're going to like it, too. You, it's informational. As soon as you pick it up, it, it's full of information. Uh, this book got maybe 110 pages in it. And I promise you, you'll probably read it in one day. It's just that good. And uh, he has prayers in, uh, prayers to the Orisha in English and in the uh, Yoruba language. In here, here, so, in here as well. So it is invaluable. Uh, this is an invaluable book. 
I think you should get it. Get it if you want to study more about African spirituality, African religion. Uh, it's a good comparison too. When you read this book, you're gonna see where New Age get all their up uh, their, their their meditation and and stuff from. Okay. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. I hope it inspired you, uh, encouraged you, empowered you. Uh, I thank you so much for watching. Light and love, and may the ancestors be with you.